So everything else has been left as normal. Um, this cart and everything else. This is obviously all the panels they've um, pulled off. So that's obviously just the panels to get into. Um, right. This was like this already. Um, like I said, they, they haven't they haven't taken it. They only taken my cables or anything from my sat nav. Fortunately, that wasn't in here. Um, never touched anything that was in the back. I had tools all the way across here. There's my torch I was looking for last night. Expensive torch on the seat still here. Look, they never even took that and used that. So it purely was, by the looks of it, an attempt at a snatch and grab and go. Um, let's you see this rubbish and everything here. Yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, that's broken or not. Does that still work or not? Will they smash that as well? She's got a bit of a rattle. Hold on a minute. Now you turn it on. Uh, yeah, they've, they've. Oh, look, this works still. So they left a working torch here. They left my cables here. They left all this stuff here. Um, and it purely was, like I say, a attempt to drive them off as far as I'm concerned. And this, I think, is just pure frustration. If they can't have it, nobody else can have her. So, um, yeah, so uh, I'll give an update in a minute. I'll go to Destiny off and you can hear me better and give an update as to where we're at at the moment regarding getting her moved and moved. Doors in the cupboard, nice and safely padded. I put all the wood I need to build um, the bits of the cartoon here as well. I obviously, I'll uh, give you something to do over the weekend. One here, keep me warm. So, I've got to do something in that window. Um, yeah, there's plenty for me to do in here, it's just cold. And obviously, I've got to go and get myself dressed up a bit better to be down here. Um, I manage. I don't want to be away from the cats, but it needs must and all that, isn't it? You know, <sighs> it is what it is. Over there. Oh dearie me. Nice to find that heat here, but like I say, I've got the gas bottles empty, so that's not happening, is it? Um, just gonna put some, some seat in there here. Oh dearie me. Got a nice bit of space in here actually. She's a, you know, obviously if I have my bed across here, there's room for the cat mill there. There's plenty of room in here for the cats. And I've still got the other room as well, you know, it's going to be really nice in here. <sighs> just got to get it working again. Something else I just noticed, another reason to replace this door is because it's only openable and shuttable from this side. You cannot open, there's no handle that side. So I think I might take that off and make another little makeshift door in there. Hair, in there. Um, and that obviously lose a lot of weight as well. I'll just take it off and it's <laughs> walk through. Um, but yeah, that has to go, and that'll give a bit more space. Oh dear, you're thinking on your feet here, isn't it? Okay, so I managed. I did actually grab a big stew pot. Like I said, I've got no nice forks or spoons or anything here at the moment. And I've got a bit of bacon and a bit of bread, so I've just bung the bit of bacon in the bottom um, on my little camp cooker on my little camping table. Um, so I've got a bacon butty and uh, sit down here. And uh, there's obviously light coming from the delivery place, so like I say it's well lit when there's a lorry in there at the moment doing a delivery, so I can actually have some sort of light in here. Let's see if I turn it off and see what it's like. Let's turn this off. Well, it's not that lit, is it? But you know, I can I can see out. Can we see out? If we didn't have a smash window, look, we can see. There's all the delivery place. Lorry's in there at the moment. Um, 
and obviously I've got my air light on my phone. My air phone there going along nicely. I've got cooking in here, fire there, chair and bed in there. So I'm going on the internet in a minute, that I'll have the light by the internet to work by. Gas for what the stove there, green stove there is not taken but it is warm on the top. So it's like a radiator, the little lipstick one, but the kettle's on in case it does take. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really nice there. You know, I was having those things, so I'll buy something else, but she's beautiful. She really does fit um, the look. So yeah, I'm going to now wait for my bacon to cook, and have a bacon butty. And then I'm going to go online and see if I can upload a, a vlog for today. I'll update you with everything. Definitely. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? So I'm presently being smoked out by the log burner with no chimney in the back of Grace. I'm just lying on the mattress, it's so bloody cold. You probably see my body, you see my breath in the dark. Um, <coughs> just trying to upload vlogs, but I'm not getting reception very well, very fast. Um, it's not, obviously, I can't lock myself in. I managed to shut the door so it stays shut, which I couldn't do before, but it is shutting. But there's no lock on the inside. I've got no chain to chain myself in. Obviously, um, people can unlock the door by putting their hand through the window that's broken in the front of the cab. A bit bored there, but, you know, if anybody's about, I've got to make myself known. I can't just be quiet and hide away. I've got to uh, turn the light on or bang a noise or get a big old stick out and everything. So I'm only in here for safety, for for to protect Grace. Um, we couldn't move, or could afford a mover. So the idea now is to just carry on building her here, um, try and get some stuff done in the daytime, and hopefully nobody will touch in the daytime. <laughs> but, you know, I can't leave her for long. I've obviously got to go and check on my cats. Um, I've got to do a bit of a build in here. Um, so I've got to do all that. In the, in the box section whilst the front of the cab is a bit destroyed. Um, just trying to get online to order the ignition from eBay now, but I can't get enough reception at the moment. Windscreen we're sorted with, we've got somebody to, found somebody to do that. Um, and then the, the light stalk, the indicating light stalk is going to come from a breaker's dead, so apparently talking to somebody at the moment, see how much he's going to charge us for that. That might be a bit expensive. see what happens so basically it's a matter of staying put and guarding over her until we can move her, get her started and move her up to mine and then I can um, load her up everything um, so me doing trips so I will take her up outside my bungalow and uh, load her up properly so I don't forget anything and take out what I don't need put in what I do need <coughs> Which is quite exciting. I mean, I know it's cold, but I'm loving this. If I could just sort of walk away from everything, just take the cats and leave the bungalow and just be like this, I love it. It's quite a nice to have a, a bit of a, a taster session. I might be being smoked out, I've be a bit careful because I've got to watch so I don't get um, carbon monoxide poison and that. Smoked fuel is supposed to be safe and everything, but um, I'm hoping everything goes out the window. That's why I'm lying down on the floor at the moment, just trying to stay a bit lower. Um, but I might have to open the uh, door in a minute and give it a bit of a vent through. I tried having the little camp stove clicker on, but the, it's so cold that um, the bottles of gas are just frozen. So that's the problem. That's the problem. You've got to have butane when it's cold, otherwise the can of gas just freezes. And it was obviously a bit of a mad sort of last minute thing of what to sort of grab. Um, even this mattress, I sit on it and I'm sort of touching the floor. I've got a duvet over me. I really need to have a, probably a couple more duvets and blankets to be warm enough in here. Because um, I'm right by the back door. It's quite nicely sealed actually, but obviously I'm in the box area with open windows and the whole the whole lorry is open to the elements. Um, saying that though, I mean, it's uh, cosier than I thought it would be. So I thought I'd just have a little chat with you. Just so I'm not alone. Loving the bath. And the new area for where that bath's going is, is just perfect for it. It 
just frees up so much space down here and it, it just tucks in that little five foot wall lovely um really really like that but it just like i say yeah you can't reach any cupboards over the top of it so i don't know what i'm gonna put on the wall or scene over it uh, might still do so because i can always step in the bath to sort of get to the cupboards um i don't know what i'm gonna do up there i'm sure something will come to mind as i say but it just might be a nice feature wall nice wooden wall and with a nice picture on it so that would be nice wouldn't it a real nice picture so that when they open their back doors all you can see is this beautiful picture um i'd always wanted one of those uh, pictures as a scene in it you know we're sort of looking through a window scene maybe that's got to have some sort of woodland or foresty scene or something looking through a window make it a pretend window picture that'd be quite striking but it doesn't really sort of tie in with a sort of vintagey classic-y look is it <laughs> you know but uh, um i don't know or maybe just one nice real nice picture i'll have to have a look and see what i find regarding that anyway better go my hands are cold better go and check this fire um put it out and uh I think I better get in the gas, see if I can get the camping stove going again. I'll catch you later. Bye for now. So I'm now in Destiny in bed. It's about one in the morning, um, Saturday night. Saturday night. Um, they've just called to go and um, sleep in Grace. And there's no heating in Destiny either, but it's a bit more enclosed. There's no windows open. So just lying down here now. My little kittens were didn't want me to go and it's like you know I don't want to be a night without them but I'm just safeguarding Grace at the end of the day. Please watch it, did a last patrol about um, 11 o'clock at night so I said I'd come down like near midnight. Um, <clears throat> it should probably be fine but you know it's just I can't have anything else go wrong. So that's what it is. I'm tired, I'm not getting enough sleep. Like I say, um, my cat's used to being with me and walk me around and let me who be crossing his legs till morning now because they won't be back at bed till later. Uh, I'm going to watch a bit of TV on you know, Netflix. Uh, get a bit warmer now. The chills come with a bit of a bit. The blue bay is starting to warm up. Um, you know, I'm comfortable in Destiny and I know also I can lock myself in Destiny. I can't lock myself in Grace. little cosy bed in here is making me really think about the layout and you know how I want things done or boxed in and make it a bit more cosy and things like that anyway I just wanted to have a little bit of a record of this as well so I've got something to show what I've been up to and hopefully be okay in the morning I know you haven't